This video was brought to you by Gamersgate.com. Download games anytime, anywhere. Skip it up and that up. So before I get into this video and start raging, because I'm warning you now, I'm going to rage, I have to give a huge shout out to G2PO and Blizzard Entertainment for hooking me up with a copy of Diablo 3 for the PlayStation 3. I was literally about to walk or drive to the store, I mean to say, to GameStop to pick this up, and Tony Steeman's like, hey man, I got a code for Diablo 3, you could download it to your PS3. I got it. It's a really awesome port, at least on the PS3. I can't speak for the 360 version, but it's, it's good. If you haven't played Diablo 3 yet, get the console version. It's really damn good. It impresses me. Smooth frame rate, and the game works great using a standard controller. So I'm going to start this video off by saying this. Look, if you use Adblock, I don't care. That's fine. Use Adblock. I mean, I'm not going to put a link in the description to help you go get it, but if you use it, I'm not losing sleep over it. I'm paying my bills just fine. My lights are on. Life will move on with me. You know, it's ad block. It's a piece of software that's there. You want it, great. You don't, great. I don't care, okay? And I know this, this video is a day late and a dollar short, but I finally, actually, I saw the Archfiend's video. Shout out to the Archfiend. I don't do, agree with everything he says, but I'm still a fan of the guy. I enjoy watching his videos. I'll have a link to his channel below in the description. I finally saw... The Archfiend's video <laughs> talking about how Adblock is having the, the people, the kids who created Adblock have this huge campaign going on, okay? Let me not jump all over the place. Where they're trying, they have basically a Kickstarter where they're trying to get crowdsourcing to get ads to advertise their anti advertisement software for the internet. I'm going to shut up right now and show you their little commercial. And then I'll tell you what I think. I love the internet without advertisements. I think everyone does. The fact that Adblock is free has always motivated me to share it with others. It's ridiculous though that so many people still don't know about Adblock. Seven out of 10 internet users don't even realize that an ad-free internet exists. The web is one giant community and we have the power to reshape it to be better for everyone. If the more than 80 million of us who have Adblock help spread it to the billions who don't, we will literally change the entire internet. So we have a crazy idea. Ads to get rid of ads. Here's the plan. We're gonna buy internet advertisements, like banner ads and video commercials, to let people know they can have an ad-free internet. To buy the ads, we're launching a crowdfunding campaign and we need your help. Contribute and you'll receive awesome rewards and help shape the campaign. And if we raise enough, we'll do unbelievable things, like a Times Square billboard or even a Super Bowl ad. At the same time, share this campaign with everyone you know. You'll be surprised how many of your friends don't know about Adblock, and they'll love you when they never have to see a YouTube commercial again. My whole goal with Adblock is to help people see the internet how they want to. We're not taking a dollar of this campaign for ourselves, so please consider pledging. The most amazing thing about that video is that those fools are proving precisely why ads need to exist for corporations or anybody to display that they have a product or service that people may want. They need to advertise that product or service, just like you fools are doing. So you're single-handedly proving why ads need to exist. You need to advertise Adblock because not enough people know about Adblock. And they will make, even though they're not taking the money probably directly from this Kickstarter, they're getting, they get, they ask for, every time you download Adblock, they ask for donations. Which the strange thing is, is that, I don't know if it's, they're doing something shady or it's different people. They say they're a husband and wife team when you download the software, but this video shows a bunch of college kids. I don't know what's up with that. What's also funny too, and I watched a video on TechFeed, which this is a really good point. They want to put an uh, advertisement in the New York Times. And to me, it's like, and he said the same thing I was thinking. It's like, yeah, it, you know, because people who read the New York Times are really internet savvy and are concerned about ads on the internet. People who read the New York Times in most cases don't give a shit about the internet. What a terrible idea. And then, then I mean, think about this too before I get into the rest of this video. Do you think that advertisers are going to pick up your ads, you idiots? 
You're trying to hurt them. Do you think that YouTube is going to go, oh man, they have, Adblock has this great video, video, excuse me, blocking what makes our revenue. Yeah, let's let them post it at the beginning of partners' videos. Let, let, let Adblock post their advertisement to block ads at the beginning of YouTube videos. Did, did you think about this before you made this campaign? Or are you really typical, that typical naive college kids? Come on. And then $4.2 million for a Super Bowl ad? Again, do you think that corporations are going to let that happen? Think, you morons. And then the thing is when that first kid says, I, I love the internet without ads. Imagine an ad-free internet. How do you think the sites that you enjoy, that you go to, exist? What do you think keeps those sites afloat, you fucking tools? Ads! So you're basically, you, you want to kill your favorite websites off. And you could say I'm getting defensive because this is how I get paid. I don't care, whatever. But it's the truth, what I'm saying. Those advertisements that are on IGN, that are on GameSpot, even smaller sites, even independent sites that get ads, that guy with the glasses.com, that's how they keep those sites afloat. That's how they pay their content creators. Think about it. If the ads go away, which they're not, I'm going to bring up another point in a second, they don't get paid and things don't exist. People need to keep their lights on, pay their bills. All right, and don't just say, oh, then get a real job then. People work at IGN and GameSpot and other places like that that isn't a real job where they have to go all over the place to get news stories. Really? You're going to say that? They have to play a game nonstop for four days straight and write a script for the review. That's not a real, that's not real work. So you take away the ads, people don't get paid, people can't make a living. So those favorite websites that you enjoy won't exist. And also... Do you think that large websites like YouTube and Netflix and other places are just going to let Adblock run wild if it becomes that much of an issue? No, they're going to block the fucking software. There's already a website that does it. Hulu.com does it. If you have Adblock running, they will not let you watch a TV show. You can't do shit on their website unless you have Adblock disabled or any kind of ad prevention software. If it's enabled, you can't use Hulu. You don't think if it becomes that much of a problem that you'll, you won't see like YouTube and other websites following suit? You think they're just going to let <laughs> one piece of software destroy their, their profits? Their revenue stream? Do you really think that's going to happen? I, I just, I, may, they have to be naive. They have to really be dumb college kids to think that this is a good idea. So to the ad block creators, if you watch this video, which I'm hoping it gets enough views that you will, you can't have it both ways. The fact that you need an advertising campaign to let people know about your software proves that. You can't have the internet that you want and have people not get paid to give you the internet that you want. You totally ruined all of your credibility by making this ad campaign. And if you think that websites and corporations are going to let this just roll on by and ruin their revenue stream, you're out of your minds. Unreal, man. Anyway, folks, this is Rich of Review Tech USA. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting my channel. Have a good one.